It's now time for the Rebirth Sports full game recap. We go all the way back to January the 19th of the year 2023 when the Nashville Predators were taking on the St. Louis Blues in St. Louis. John Hines deploys his lines in the following way. Forsberg, Glass, and Duchesne on your first line. Need a rider. Johansson and Granlin on your second line, Smith, Parson, and Sissons, Trent, and Novak, and Juno on your defensive pairings, McDonough and Yossi Ekholm and Carey, Luzon and Fabro, UC Soros gets the start in net. We are just 107 into the first period, and Bennington's coming up with a save on Forsberg. First shot on goal of the game at 203 of the first period. Tommy Novak puts the puck, and then there was a rebound follow up of Luzon's drive to the net. It was reviewed for goaltender interference. And he was overturned. Take that goal off the board. Return the score to 0-0. 4.54 into the first period. Houston's Arsenal with a save on Kairou on the two-on-one. It was a strong anticipation save by UC Saros right here. 5.38 into the first period. Bukinabish off to the box. Two minutes for hooking. Bennington comes with a save on Yossi plus the rebound jam by Johansson. Bennington then comes up with a save on Johansson another time later in the power play. 12.38 of the first period. Saros comes up with a save on Letty after the turnover by the National Predators. D. 13.24 Cole Smith is given a four minute high sticking penalty a double minor this is reviewed and it is overturned it is deemed and it was obvious once you got a chance to look at a couple of angles in the slow-mo that it was a teammate that accidentally got the stick up in the other teammate's face. UC Saros comes up with a save on Sada. 13 52, 17 18. Bennington comes to save on Parson. 19 05. Saros, a save on Achari plus the rebound. 19 25 of the first. Bennington comes up with a save on Yossi plus his rebound follow up. The National Purders were going to outshoot the St. Louis Blues 12 to 10 in the first period, but will be unable to take the lead. 11 seconds into the second period, though, St. Louis would secure that lead for the first time in this game. It's Shen's 11th goal of the season. It was a wrist shot from just over the blue line. Seemed relatively harmless. Not sure if UC Saros was able to track it or how much of a deflection it got off of McDonough, but it doesn't make a difference. Shen's 11th goal of the season gives St. Louis a 1-0 lead. We are just a minute or two later, 2.36 into the second period. Sorry, the clock disappeared from the game broadcast for quite a few minutes right here. Sisson's 7th goal of the season ties the game up at 1 apiece for the National Predators. The breakaway was sprung during a line change by Cole Smith. Great recognition here by Cole Smith to go ahead and shoot that puck the length of the ice for Colton Sissons to go ahead and tuck that puck away on the breakaway. 1-1 hockey game 2.36 into the second period. 2.58 into the second. Parsons off to the box. Two minutes for puck over the glass. UC Saros comes with a save on Kairou. The Blues have lots of zone time and lots of pressure, but the Preds are able to hold the line and survive. But at 8.30, Sod's 14th goal of the season does give St. Louis a 2-1 lead. He out-muscled Tanner Tanner Janot and beat Soros five hole. How often can you say something like Tanner Janot was out muscled to the net? Not something I was expecting, and frankly, a sentence I did not ever think that I would be writing. So, Sod's 14th goal of the season gives St. Louis a 2-1 to lead in the second period. 11.50 of the second period, you see Saros comes with a save on Cairo off the rush. 14.31, Granlin's off the box, two minutes for holding, and that's where Cairo is scoring his 21st goal of the season, making it 3-1 in favor of the St. Louis Blues. It was a backhand at the top of the crease, and it sure was a sick finish. 3-1 in favor of the Blues. 18-33 of the second. Bennington comes with a save on Fabro. 19-05. Saros comes up with a save on Pitlick. And we hit the end of the 40 minutes of play. St. Louis out shooting Nashville now. 25-19. to So 15 shots on goal and three goals for the St. Louis Blues in the second period. Seeing if the National Purs can gain some momentum during the intermission coming out of the clean sheet. Just 31 seconds into the third period. UC Saros comes with a save on Bukinavich. But at 103 of the third period, Thomas's 12th goal of the season, which was a perfect, just an absolute perfect redirect at the side of the crease, gives the St. Louis Blues a 4-1 to one lead. And just one minute later, Tarpchenko's third goal of the season was a tap-in on a 3-on-1, giving St. Louis a 5-1 to one lead at 331 of the third period. Shen's off to the box, two minutes for hooking, but then Niederreiter takes the penalties off to the box, two minutes for hooking. 
just after the turnover. Four on four for a minute and 17 seconds. 6.43 of the third period. Smith and Tucker would have a go, and they'd go off the box five minutes apiece. 10.36 of the third period. Fabro's off the box. Two minutes four holding the stick right there in front of the crease. It was incredibly obvious. Falk is off the box. Two minutes four. Interference, though, shortly after making it a four on four for a minute and 52 seconds. Bennington has to come up with a big save on Novak at 16.16. Pareko's off the box. Two minutes four tripping. Forsberg then takes a needless penalty. Two minutes four high sticking, leading to another four on four for 56 seconds. That's where Matias Ekholm scores his fifth goal of the season. Backhand roof job from close range. Good looking goal, but of course, it's not nearly enough. St. Louis wins this game five to two, and they outshoot the National Predators 33 to 26. The St. Louis Blues went from 10 shots to 25 shots, and they honestly didn't need to really put up any more shots after 201 into the third period. So the St. Louis Blues, a dominant performance over the Nashville Predators now. I'm going to get into exactly what I think happened to the Nashville Predators tonight. We've got full game analysis, stats, breakdowns, and Sean. C. Smith will also be jumping in the trenches to file a report on tonight's game against St. Louis Blues. But the facts are the facts. The Rebirth Sports full game recap says the National Predators fall to St. Louis 5-2 in the battle of fourth place in the Central Division. Predator outshot 33-26. We'll be back to give you all.